Easter. Happy Easter. We'll pray our prayer to our Lady Most Admirable. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. We pray together. Amen. Mother Most Amen. Admirable, Amen. treasure of calm and serenity, Amen. we love her for the light of our Lord eyes, for the peace radiating from her countenance, for her whole being, which reveals her inner fullness of grace. She is the Virgin of the Invisible and of the Essential. We ask her to detach us from the visible, to lead us on and to fix our gaze on the invisible, on which her eyes the invisible life, the invisible action, and the invisible love. In the midst of non-essentials, which invite and often beguile us, may she give us a right understanding of the essential and a hunger for it. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth with joy in your heart to pre-consecrate yourself and our churches to Our Lady Most Admirable. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. When our risen Lord appeared to his disciples on Easter Sunday, he said, Peace be with you. We can be confident that he desires this same peace for all the members of his body, the church, and for the people of the entire world. In this difficult time, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Catholic Church and Queen of Peace, to ask that she intercede with her son for all those who are afflicted and affected in any way by this pandemic. As we renew the consecration of our own parishes, and of ourselves to the Mother of God, we implore her maternal care for her children. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated for a little fervorino on the consecration of our churches to our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Happy Easter. I can think of no better day than today's feast day of Our Lady of Fatima to consecrate our parishes to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the opening prayer of our renewal of the consecration of Mary liturgy, we ask for the help of Mary's prayers that the Catholic Church would be able to exalt in how holy her children had become. That is what a consecration is. Something or some person, or in our case, some church is set aside for a holy purpose. All of our churches have been consecrated. That is, 
they've been set aside to love God and to do God's will in the world. Each of us has been consecrated many times in our lives. We were consecrated at our baptisms, at our confirmations, on our wedding day. And for me, the day of my ordination, we have just extended, entered into the octave of my priestly ordination. That was a consecration as well. We have all been set aside from the ordinary to do the extraordinary things that God asks of us. Maybe we should say the supernatural things that God asks of us. But oftentimes, the world and sin and Satan, they don't make us feel special at all, but rather ordinary or common. How many times has the world told you, you Catholics are not special, you're just like everyone else. You put your pants on one leg at a time. Even you are affected by the coronavirus. Just like everyone else. How many times has the world told you that the Eucharist isn't special? You don't eat God's body and blood, it's just bread. You're not special. You are not set aside by God. Your consecration means nothing. Those are the words of Satan spoken to us through the voice of the world and maybe even spoken to us through our own sinful voices. But it is not true. Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and have that life more abundantly. That we Catholics would have a supernatural life on earth because we are bound for the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ gives us our Catholic sacraments that we might be holy. When we renew the consecration of our churches and ourselves, we pray for Mary's help. We pray that rededicating ourselves to doing the will of God in our lives, that we would be fruitful in doing many good works for the world. But more importantly, that we would be more holy today than we were yesterday. That the Catholic Church would be proud of us, that she would exalt and be enamored with us, hold us up to the world as an example, a good example. Because what mother doesn't want to exalt in her children? What mother doesn't want to be proud of her children? We consecrate our parishes of Our Lady Perpetual Help Sublet, St. Mary at the Assumption Church West Brooklyn, and St. Patrick's Church Maytown. We consecrate our churches today that the Catholic Church would be more fruitful in these dark times, that she would exalt and be proud of us, that our humble parishes, thought insignificant by the world, are growing in holiness, that the Catholic Church would exalt in her children the future saints of the Queen of Heaven. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray, pray for us. St. Mary the Assumption, pray, pray for us. St. Patrick, Pray, pray for, for us. us. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Our Lady Most Admirable. Pray, pray for us. And we'll pray a uh, decade of the rosary. We'll pray the fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of Our Lady into heaven, body and soul. If you please kneel with me now.
Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Christ art thou among women, women. blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Lord Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Me. Blessed Christ art thou among women, women. Blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world of thought and end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most in need of thy mercy. Now of the prayer of renewal of the consecration to our Blessed Virgin Mary. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, you are the fairest fruit of God's redeeming love. You sing of the Father's mercy and accompany us with a mother's love. In this time of pandemic, we come to you, our sign of sure hope and comfort. Today we renew the act of consecration and entrust our churches of St. Patrick's Maytown, St. Mary the Assumption, West Brooklyn, and Our Lady Perpetual Sublet, Sublet, that we would help to carry out the will of God as all those who have gone before us have. With the love of a mother and handmaid, embrace the parish of St. Patrick's Church, Maytown, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with all her registered families and her priests. With the love of the mother and handmaid, embrace the parish of Our Lady Perpetual Sublet, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with all her registered families and her priests. And with the love of mother and handmaiden, embrace this parish of St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with all her registered families and her priests. In a special way, we commend to you, Our Lady Most Admirable, these particular needs and those who are in need of your maternal care. Mary, health of the sick, sign of health, of healing, of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are inflicted with the coronavirus. Mary, Mother of Consolation, who console with a mother's love all who turn to you, we entrust to you all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic. Mary, help of Christians, who come, we come to our, who come to our rescue in every trial, we entrust to you your loving protection, all caregivers. Mary, Queen Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from this pandemic. Mary, Seat of Wisdom, who are so wonderfully filled with the light of truth, we entrust to you all who are working to find a cure for this pandemic. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, who gave yourself wholeheartedly to God's plan for the renewal of all things in Christ, we entrust to you all leaders and policymakers. Mary, Our Lady Perpetual Help, as you look out from the icon, bless all who enter our church in Sublette. Help them to see the invisible presence of your Son in the Eucharist. Mary, the Assumption, Life goes on after our earthly death. Help us to see the invisible life that you have given to our beloved dead. And Mary, our Lady Most Admirable, St. Patrick was called into action. May the Holy Spirit, at your prompting, help us to see the invisible action of the sacraments that we celebrate 
in our church of St. Patrick. Mary, Mother of the Church, you are enthroned as Queen at your Son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our churches, of Our Lady Perpetual Help, Sublet, St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn, and St. Patrick's Church, Maytown, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened, that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness. Mary, our Mother, bring everyone under your protection and entrust everyone to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this point in our consecration liturgy, I'd like to bless the sacramentals that we talked about in the bulletin in our Mass on Sunday and Mother's Day. The uh, sacramental that uh, I'm offering to all the parishioners who would like one is a little uh, image, a sacramental of our Lady Perpetual Help, a small pocket icon. You're to keep it in your pocket or your purse. And then every time you look at the uh, icon, you would receive Mary's blessing. Every time that you would touch it, you would feel the touch of the Holy Family. So these sacramentals are meant to draw us in our faith so that uh, we would, especially those of us who've lost a parent to death, might be reassured that we will one day see them again and be comforted in them by the joy in heaven. So we pray this prayer of dedication, this blessing over these sacramentals. O oh God, who commanded us to honor father and mother, have mercy and your compassion on our parents who have died. Forgive them their sins and bring us to see them one day in the gladness of eternal glory. Receive, O oh Lord, the sacrifices we offer you whenever we celebrate the Mass in their honor. May our participation in the heavenly sacrament of the Eucharist help us to bask in the perpetual light that you have given to them. Quiet our grief and allow us to remember with great joy the many blessings you bestowed on us through our mothers and fathers. May every time we look upon this pocket icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, may Our Lady bless us with the ability to see her Son's invisible presence in our lives. May every time we touch this pocket icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, may it remind us that it was St. Joseph who first held the Christ child in his own hands. And so we would be reassured that one day soon we will feel the embrace of our beloved parents who have gone before us, marked with your grace, and so come to praise and adore you forever. Almighty God, in your kingdom, we ask this blessing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow the grace of your kindness upon your supplicant people, O Lord, that, formed by you, their creator, and restored by you, their sustainer. Through your constant action, they may be saved. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, quia quem meruisti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut ixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.